Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I received a threatening phone call from somebody not too long ago threatening that they were going to take me to a lawyer if I said anything. Try to tell that person that I was uh, getting a lot of tweets from uh, people. For instance, here's the thing, okay. Let me just uh, close this out here real quick. There's this person that had been going by several different names on Twitter. This is uh, one, and I've been saving everything. This is one of the things that they went by. Then they changed it to that. Then later they changed it. They changed it to this. They didn't keep that very long. They had this this name here as well. Now they've been going by this here name here. Notice that's my as me. That's my photo from many years ago. And you see, I say been saving everything that they've been saying, especially this right here. That was one of the things that they wanted me to explain. Then there was something else too that they wanted, that they kept, uh, also, uh, as soon as I find it here, I saw it a little while ago. I'm looking for that real quick here. Yeah, here's something else here too. That they also tweeted. Then there was, uh, let me find it here, I'm still looking for that. Well, of course, here are some things here that they keep saying, too. 
that uh, I was fired from the Red Cross while I was down in Mississippi which I was never fired from the Red Cross so you see it's been one lie after another 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 lie after no lie, after no lie, after no lie, after no lie, constantly on Twitter. On my ministry Twitter page. And then they threatened. They don't care about the fact that I have a trade name with the state of Ohio now. They said that they are going to go with the, to the... Um, U.S. Uh, well, the federal trade, and uh, get a trademark of my ministry. God gave me this ministry name years even before I became an ordained minister. When I was going to the Scripture Holiness Church, Try and find that tweet here. Uh, they've had so many names. They've had so many names and so many. They just did. They they just do not like keeping the same name. And I'm trying to go through a lot of things here. There's just so much, such a, so much stuff here. It's hard uh, to keep up with everything that they've been saying. But the thing is, one of the things that they had um, said was that. I, well, as soon as I find it, I, I'd rather have you re read it than for it to actually come, amount, come out of my mouth. So, the reason why I was doing these videos, most of these videos, is because of all these tweets that they've been tweeting, saying all these lies about me.
Hmm. I know. Jeez, just so much stuff here. Like this one here. Here's a treat here that uh, this uh, one person said about my mobile home that needs painted. But then they also treated that just needs to be burned to the ground. In other words, no, no matter how much you want to twist what you said. You said my mobile home needs to be burned to the ground. Not that it might have a grease fire, but it needs to be burned to the ground, which is a threat. But again, you don't see it that way, but the authorities do. Also, here's something else that this person had tweeted at one point in time. See, they were trying to say I was abusing certain people in my life, which I never abused them. Never abused my family whatsoever. But yet I get a call. Someone is yelling and hollering and screaming at me over the phone. Threatening that uh, they will uh, take me to court. Again, too. Here's something that they tweeted about. And then here's something else that they tweeted about. They're constantly twisting everything I say. All to make themselves look better on Twitter and then here's something else that they wanted to they wanted me to talk about
Just going through the stuff that uh, he had uh, been saying. Actually, I think I... No, here we go. I got to the... In, but... Oh, yeah. Here's something else that uh, this one person and this uh, one guy said about one of my family. I'm not the one who's been tweeting all this stuff. These people have been tweeting all this stuff. I know somewhere he had talked about something here as soon as I find it. Oh no, yeah, here's something else too. This picture that he's using, he was uh, talking about the, the, on my keychain, he thinks that it was my mother. So, you see what I'm saying? If you wanna, you know, get a lawyer, you take these people to court for putting all this stuff on Twitter. And you know, I don't care how much proof you, you, you constantly come up with on Twitter. It's all made up. Made up on your computers. Made up in your own little heads. Oh yeah, here's something that uh, these two people here had said. I 
So they just kept tweeting these, these, uh, these tweets that they've been tweeting out there. Here's something else that, uh, this one person had, uh, tweeted about me. And then something else too. See, they just don't hate me. They also hate Pastor Greg Locke uh, that has a church in Tennessee. They hate him too. And any other preacher that they think They can go after. So there, that, that's why I've been trying to set the record straight. Cause there they bought my book. And they've been going through my book. And one of the pages that they were going through is this page right here. Where I talked about. The Hurricane Ike that came through uh, Ohio when uh, we uh, lived in Sio. And they're trying to say that on this page I said I was fired from the American Red Cross. I do not say that I was fired from the Red Cross. But yet they kept saying repeatedly, 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 repeatedly. Repeatedly that I was fired. Even put some of these tweets on these uh, fake uh, tweets. Again, they're always making something look like it's actually real. When it's not real. Like this one right here. That is not a real tweet from me. At all. It's just It's been just one fake one fake tweet after another fake tweet after another fake tweet after another fake tweet after another fake tweet. So it got so so to the point today. I just blocked them all. I blocked every single one of them. Whether or not that helped any, I doubt it. Cause see, here's something else too. See, not only is this person talking about me, he's also talking about this uh, preacher right here that was um, on TV. W. 
he also talked about this other preacher right here too as well just to name a few So I blocked, blocked him on my uh, ministry Twitter page because I got tired of it. I, today I've had it over my head and beyond. And then tonight I get a phone call from somebody again threatening to take me to court if I don't stop making videos about them. Like I said, I'm just trying to set the record straight. Oh, I did not beat up on somebody over fudge. As a matter of fact, I wasn't being able to beat that person up. Not then and not even now. I'm not that kind of person to beat uh, up uh, somebody like uh, like they have been saying I was doing. So if you want to take anybody to court, take those idiots to court. Again, here is the one person. Their actual name is this right here. But they went by all these other names on Twitter. They, they, they made all this stuff and put it on Twitter. And then there's this person here. Hang on a second. There's this person right here. Then there's this person right here. This person right here has went by many other names as well. And there's this person right here. So yeah, I got these folders of all these people. Cause I'm saving all their uh saving all their uh tweets and uh videos that they make in order to prove I'm the one that's being stalked. I'm the one that's being ridiculed. I'm the one that's being blasphemed. I'm the one that is the victim. Because they hate me and my ministry. And if you want to be a part of that, if you want to be a part of that, and hate me and my ministry because of them, More proud to you, get a lawyer. That's all I need to say tonight. I'm tired of it. God bless you. Have a good night.